So everybody already knows about the Leica M6 at this point, but why? Why is the Leica M6 daddy? Join me in discovering the truth on Unsolved Analog Mysteries. Today's episode is sponsored by Squarespace. Well, as a wise man once said, the years start coming and they don't stop coming, and 2020 was one of the worst of all, so I decided to end the year with a bang. I decided to purchase the Leica M6 through a friend of mine. Well, not so much a friend, but a dead body, and not so much as purchased as dug up his grave. I was grave robbing. Okay, dumb jokes aside, I've actually been shooting with this camera for about three months now with one goal in mind, to get to the bottom of why it's so beloved by everyone. Believe me, I wanted nothing to do with the hype train surrounding this particular camera. When you think of a Leica, specifically the M6, you probably start thinking about how it's expensive because it's considered to be luxury, as well as how some Leica owners will dump their piping hot pour over down your pants if you even suggest that the Nikon F3 is a better camera. But is it possible to imagine a world where the Leica M6 is more than just looks and is actually a solid all-around camera? Personally, I'm not ride or die for Leica like some people, but the M6's legendary status is definitely no secret amongst us film nerds. We are going to be talking about the Leica M6. The Leica M6. The Leica M6. The Leica M6. Leica M6. Holga 120. Leica M6. I mean, why is it so special? At the end of the day, it takes the same standard 35 millimeter frame. There are hundreds of other film cameras out there that do the exact same. Steve Yedlin once made the point that cameras are nothing more than machines used to collect data, and that your focus and other efforts should be put on other aspects of the workflow. I think that that point is especially true for film photography. I think it's generally accepted that your lens and film choice, as well as ultimately how sh of a photographer you are, make more of an overall contribution to your shot at the end of the day. But with all that in mind, maybe it's not so much about the final image with the M6. What if, since there are other cameras that can produce the same image, it's actually more about using a quality tool like a gastroenterologist we're gonna dive deeper into that Leica shooters always say that there's something tingly deep down that just feels good about using a Leica but I didn't really buy into the hype even back when I had an m3 sure it did feel well built and distinct while I was using it but it wasn't that special warm caressing feeling that everyone talked about. However, things started to change for me after finally shooting with the Leica M6. It's not like other girls, I mean cameras. I can't explain it. It just feels good to use. I mean, it feels well built. When I smash the advanced lever, it reminds me of a simpler time, when all I had to do in a day was go to daycare, eat Play-Doh, throw up, and then nap the rest of the afternoon. Is it possible that using a camera that makes the overall shooting experience more enjoyable pushes you to want to get out and shoot more, which forces you to practice and become a better photographer? It's a stretch, but it could explain part of the Leica M6's popularity. It makes me want to use the crap out of this thing because it feels good and it's fun. Not that someone like me knows what fun is. We all learned in third grade uh, not to judge a book by its cover, but let's be honest, we do that sh constantly. I remember thinking at one point, maybe the M6 gained its sudden popularity because there was a lot of initial interest in how cool it looked. I mean, it does have looks that can kill, especially compared to its predecessor, the M5. Just because it looks cool though, doesn't mean it's not a well-designed camera. It likely just means it'll catch your eye sooner. And so what if it does? Sometimes it is just nice to use cool looking cameras. And you know what, if it gets you out there and shooting, then why does it matter? This camera's whole aura is nothing short of sensual, but what if, by gosh, it was also just a solid all-around camera? I mean, 
Ken Rockwell, the camera gangster, even went so far as to call it a superb camera by any gauge. Thanks, Ken. You can have a dollar to support your growing family. The M6 is compact, built to last, will attract a potential mate, and best of all, it has a very simple to use but solid light meter. And even one up that, the light meter is TTL, which means it's reading the light coming through the lens. This is a very solid preventative measure for dumbasses like me who shoot with their lens cap on, on cameras that feature non-TTL meters. Looking at you, Mamiya7. Moving on, simple and compact cameras with quiet shutters have been the staple of street photographers and stalkers throughout time. I think cameras that are simple and straightforward allow the photographer to be more in the moment when they do their thing. And the more the camera can be out of the way, the better. But don't let your Pentax 6-7 hear that. Under the lens hood, it's all mechanical. Batteries are optional if you'd like to use the light meter. Being a mechanical camera in today's day and age is what is kind of proving to be the gold standard for film cameras. A lot of older photography equipment with electronic components have been witnessed to fail and thus kind of harder to fix. What? I heard that. Don't you f***ing tell me. I'm not saying that mechanical cameras don't fail either, but it certainly seems like repairs for them are more readily available. Additionally, most M6s are relatively new in the film camera world. They were constructed from around 1984 to 2002, which is sometime around when I was grown in the test tube. This Leica M6 here dates back to being manufactured in 1996. That really wasn't that long ago compared to a lot of film cameras. And it's nice to have 25 year old mechanics in it versus 60 year old mechanics in the Leica M3. If you think it's not about the motion of the ocean, and in fact, bigger is better, then you might be conflicted with this camera. While this camera is only 5 inches across, it harbors a very clear rangefinder patch and a humongous viewfinder. I mean, frankly, this camera is packing the biggest I've ever seen. In the viewfinder, you have good frameline flexibility as well, with frame lines for 28mm, 35 50 75 90 and 135 millimeter. So that's quite a solid line of focal lengths for any rangefinder, especially when most rangefinders only have frame lines available for a 50mm. Lastly, perhaps one of the biggest reasons to invest in the M system is its line of lenses. It's no secret, Leica lenses are highly regarded, though largely only usable on Leica cameras and now mirrorless cameras. There are other cameras out there that use the M mount as well, so this point isn't super valid. I just thought it was another small reason that many photographers choose to invest in the M6. And yeah, I am aware of the fact that I use a cheap and dirty peasant lens on this M6, but that's by choice. I actually dig this lens a lot. It's the Jupiter 12 35mm f2.8, and it's an L30 threaded lens so I have to use an L39 to M adapter which helps set the frame lines and align the rangefinder patch. I mean depending on what you're looking for in an image sharpness isn't the end all be all but that's a topic for another time. But since time is a construct how about constructing your own online portfolio with today's sponsor Squarespace. If you're like me and want to spend more time out in the field creating, then why not have an easy to set up but solid online domain that you can count on? Squarespace is a very popular website building platform that features a plethora of different templates and designs to choose from. I recently reconstructed my website to show off more of my photography work, and I found the best template for me to do that was through the Wells template. It was super easy and straightforward to upload my photos and arrange them in a visually pleasing manner, like photography charcuterie.
factory. And the end result is a polished professional looking website that would impress even the most hardened potential client. If you're way smarter than me by being handy with coding, Squarespace features the ability to throw in your own custom scripts for an even more personal touch. So what are you waiting for? If you're ready to build a website, you can start a free trial today at squarespace.com slash granny days. And if you use the code granny days at checkout, you can get 10% off your first purchase. So there you have it, a camera that looks good, feels good to use, has a TTL light meter, has access to quality Leica lenses, is largely mechanical, and harbors a huge viewfinder with a solid range of frame line choices. This camera is a home run, and seeing why it's so popular is easy, easier than I was in college. So let's just face facts, the M6 is an expensively popular camera simply because it's just a great 35mm camera, and I've been with a lot of cameras. The huge downside to this camera is of course that it's expensive as hell and the price is just going up. And I suppose talking about the camera on video doesn't really help with that, but I must ask, have you seen the prices lately? They've already been driven up. But there is hope. Leica announced earlier this year that they're working on a new Leica film rangefinder for budget consumers with a style akin to the M6. And I'm pretty sure in that moment, I knew exactly what it was like to be stranded on an island drinking my own piss to look up and see a rescue ship on the horizon. I mean, a brand new film camera from a major camera developer in 2021? What's next? Contax awakens from the grave and announces the Contax 6452? So does the Leica M6 make you an overall better photographer? No. Good photography comes from the soul, or whatever is left of your soul. And just like how practice kissing a baked potato with lipstick on it doesn't make you better at making out, the Leica M6 won't be the end-all be-all that makes your photography stand out. There are a lot of other great camera options out there, but if you want a quality tool that won't let you down and you can afford it, then by all means go for it. You won't be disappointed. Just do us all a favor and don't be a Leica snob.